Hi, I'm Adam Delapena, and I love Gary Busey. He is my favorite actor. I've seen all his movies. When I was a kid, I had two dreams. One was to be an international space astronaut. The other was to do a show with Gary Busey. In my dreams, I travel around with him and learn his philosophy on life. Now I've got that chance to get inside his mind, to learn from Busey. Who's with Busey? I'm with Busey. So do you feel like, you know, when you, we're going to show the audience all these... It's gone. Okay. It won't leave a stain. It's okay. It that was just a bit of a lobster gristle. Are you supposed to eat it? Well, you can eat it if you want. It just right. depends on your ability to take a risk on eating something you don't know what it is. That's what's so great about eating in the dark. Well, what are you doing later? You want to come over and uh, smell clothes? No, I'm cool. <laughs> yeah, How many okay. people is going to be fighting? It's going to be two on two. Me and you versus them. We should have uh, code names. <laughs> okay, no, we'll be, we'll be. Hey! That'll be it. That's a code name for both of us? It's not a code name, it's okay. a signal okay. to get your f***ing attention, you village idiot. <laughs> I can't go communication. No, you can't go that? No. I'm going to be shot like a bird. <laughs> I know. God. How about caca? Caca? Yeah. Do it. Caca! Caca! Okay. Look up here. Like something like that. Over here. Look a beer? Yeah, just over here. <laughs> Look over here. Really high. They won't even hear it. There's a lot of seagulls. That seagull you shot, the pelican. Shut up. Action movies, schmaction boobies. Get up here. You. Up. OK, take a look at this. Do you watch every sunset like that? Or try to? Lately, I have been. These kind of things only happen for the first time once. Right. Not every day. Yo, we're from Tennessee. It's good to yell at people and tell them you're from Tennessee. That way you you'll be safe. I will give you the knowledge of surviving eating roadkill. The sale cat is a cat that's been run over about 600 times on the freeway. And you walk out and you peel it off the freeway uh -huh. and you throw it across the prairie like a Frisbee. Chop them up and leave the little fur that's left on during the decomposing. It's like a potato chip, but it's from a cat because the tail can be a lovely dipstick and chocolate later that you bring with you, like in a Hershey's bar. You dip the tail in the chocolate, put the tail in your mouth. Oh my God, three beef ribs. Okay. And a little Coke beside that. What? Cool off a rib bone like that. Where did you learn that? Just now. That's the sound the bear makes. Hey, you know what? What? There's a campfire game. I'll set the end of this thing on fire, uh -huh. and I'll chase you. How's that a game? You have to you have to get away from the fire. How about let's play a game called Let's Take a Nap, right? It's Sleep. not a game. <laughs> it's a natural thing, but this is going to be fun. <coughs> Just let me get this going. All right. OK. Sweet Christ, I thought you were a king. No. Come on. Come on. Hey. Ah! Are you crazy? Yay! How come you did that, man? Because we're playing bike chicken. I know. I'm going to go over here and bask in my victory. I'm bleeding a little bit, and that's good. You know, it's good to drink your own blood. Drinking your own blood is the paradigm of recycling. You do. Oh, wow. Welcome to the future. <laughs> Come on in. Isn't this great? It's a storeroom, man. They're ice packs? Ice packs. Well, they got to be refrozen, but what's going to yeah. happen? Why are there bags of ice around here? Huh? Bags of ice? They melted? What the hell are you doing here? You ever heard of cryogenics? All right, listen. I got in the car, hit repeatedly. You don't have any fear. 
Yeah, I do have fear. I have no. fear of cars. Oh. Here, I have fear of, you know what? You know what my biggest fear is? You. You almost killing me. I didn't kill you. You're alive. You're breathing. I said almost. You're going to get to go home and eat a Mexican pizza. Think of that. Hey. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Push this button, push this button, push this button, push this button. What's going on? What? Oh, I'm glad oh. you're here. Yeah. This will not get off this blue screen. No matter right. what I do, watch the channels. Yeah. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Nothing happens. Now, technology is like living with the eyes of a shark. A shark's eyes have no life in them. And the way technology is advancing today, every day there's a new product. Every day the prices go up. And guess what? what? In three weeks' time, maybe two days, maybe a year, maybe a half a year, technology is going to be developed so strict and so refined that it will be able to kill your mother. Were that fast? Would you like you that? Would you like to have no, technology? No, I don't want my mom to okay. die from technology. Well, okay, let's talk about weapons of mass destruction. All right. Do you know where the weapons of mass destructions are? In Iraq. The more weapons of mass destruction in the earth are in one place. Where? Good guys. What? You know, I'm not going to get into it now with you, but I don't want to talk politics today, but one day we will. Right. We'll talk about New World Order. Okay. That'll we'll be... We'll talk about Illuminati 99. We'll talk about Kill the White Man. We'll talk about... This has an apparatus built inside of it. It's like a configuration of signals. Right. Electric, electronic fuses. And there's a hot spot igniter in here. And when the when there's a signal that's that's sent to the hotspot ignition igniter without natural due process, there will be a blast point. Okay. So let's say you go home. Okay. To your mother, it's her birthday. Okay. And you say, "Here, mom, I got a new camera for you, mm -hmm. and I'd like for you to take a picture of me, your firstborn son. First picture taken on your camera, new camera. I got you." Right. And she says, "Okay, smile, son." <laughs> it explodes and blows your mother into 56 pieces that you take take you two weeks to find. That's what this apparatus can do. Do you have proof that this happened? Has this been happened before? Yeah. Cameras do explode. So the you're cardboard just... cameras, same thing. The cardboard cameras you right. get in. Uh, so you do, are you understanding the technology here? 10,556 years ago, there was a continent called Atlantis. Atlanta? Atlantis. Okay. T -I -S. In, in Georgia. No, Atlanta is in Georgia. Atlantis. Oh, Atlantis. Oh, Atlantis. Say okay. it, Atlantis. Atlantis. Okay, that's good. Now, Atlantis had flying machines, and they had big earth movers. Okay. And they moved the stones from the Anwar Dam in Egypt uh -huh. in the air and on the ground quickly uh -huh. to build the pyramids. Now, what the Atlanteans wanted to do, they wanted to send the energy from Earth through the channels and, and the openings and the tunnels in the pyramid uh -huh. and connect with different planets and different objects in outer space All right. to connect our energy with that energy and our energy would expand and be better. But guess what? what? The re energy reversed itself. It came back in. Uh -huh. It warped our DNA. All right. In the Old Testament, we used to live uh, to be 250. What's that? Years old. And now we live to be 90. 90 right. years old. That's as far as we can get up. That's because our DNA is warped. And we can only use 10% of our mind. And this is because of good guys. No, this, no. No, I'm this sorry. This is because I'm, of the Atlanteans. Oh, the Atlanteans. Building Screw the pyramids right, and the energy it reverses Screw itself it. coming back in. I got it, got it, got it, got it. God! Ah! All right, I got it now. And we have... Hey! To... What? What was that? Keeping crows away. You know what? I think the best way to win to, uh, to end a war is to have women fight naked. That would end the war. Forget about technology. Forget about bombs. Forget about... Reason. Everything that blows up people, just have women fight naked. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Before we go, yeah. I want to introduce you to my daughter, to okay. my robot. It's his robot. Huh? It's his robot. This is Vicky. Pretty good, huh? Lifelike, huh? What? You heard me. What is this? It's my daughter, Vicky. I built her. She's a robot. Did you ever see the show Small Wonder, uh, where the robot girl is played by child actress Tiffany Brissett? Yeah, Gary didn't either. This robot is really humping my leg. Her, her eyes have no life in them. Wow. Well, they're CCD cameras. What does that mean? They're video cameras. 
They're not real So eyes. actually, when, she, when she's uh, here, she's photographing? Yeah. And you know what? This is getting, this is, okay. <laughs> Woo! I know I'm out there, and I can be at times with that. <laughs> this is... You just said... Okay, shh. Robots are cool, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Let's okay. go fight. Nice to meet you, Vicky. <laughs> it's your imagination. This is a spoon. Now, you see, this is bent a little bit. It's all bit. bent. Yeah. Well, I made a mistake. I thought I was cleaning the spoon by putting it into a cleaning machine, uh -huh. and it was a garbage disposal. Sometimes your imagination will make you think that something that cuts hay is actually a soft knit sweater. What about the train? These trains go whoop, 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 whoop. They pass that close. And when you look at the train you're passing, you have the ability to see what it looks like going 500 miles an hour because you got 250 miles an hour plus 250 miles an hour. So the flashing in the wind, the reflection is going by so fast. That's a parallel universe to movement, inertia, subject matter and the fixation of one target to another. Huh? Gary's weird sometimes. Just say something that you don't know where it's coming from and you don't know where it's been, you don't know where it's going, and uh, you want to go there. Ass monkey. That's not a place to go to. I, I know, but she says the first thing. I don't know. I mean, that's the first thing he hit on my mind, ass monkey. Ass monkey? Uh-huh. So you want a location. What? You want a location to go to. What is an ass monkey? I don't know. It's the first thing that came to my mind. Have you, uh, you ever thought about therapy? So up until this time, I figured I had failed Gary pretty badly. So I wanted to help him pitch this book that he's written. So we went to a book agent and tried to sell it. Hi, I'm Gary Busey. Nice Hi. to meet you. This is my partner, Adam Daly Hi. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I've had this dream that came out of my imagination years ago to publish a book called The Roadside Animal Cookbook. I have recipes for animals we find on the road that are dead. This is a fresh killed kitty cat here. You see the blood? The cat is gone. This cat can be, because of the hard structure of their skin, they can be cracked up into little pieces like Cheetos or potato chips, and this dipped into the fondue of a possum. Now, horses are usually used for dog food, and the hooves are used for glue. But you can make vegetarian horse meat burgers out of this wonderful animal. I guess I don't follow how a, that could be a vegetarian uh, burger in any way. Well, horses don't eat meat. I think the great thing about this book that Gary's thought about is that it's about roadkill, which everybody everybody drives cars, everybody can relate to the road. Everybody can, can do, uh, can, knows about dead animals. We've all killed animals when we were children. So you don't know where this could go marketing-wise, right? That's true. Yeah. All right. Yeah, this is great. All right, uh, thanks. Uh, I hate to cut this short. Don't you want a crow? Yeah.